Leo's, Leo fam, Leo squad, Leo loves, my brothers and sisters of Leo, um, I'm a Leo son, I'm a Leo son, love being a Leo, but today, I don't even know what to say about today, I don't know if it's leftover full moon energy or what, it's just gnarly, like I'm getting, um, some downloads, I'm just feeling so much and like people got to bring up old shit and I'm just like, really? <laughs> it's been one of those days. So, and it's not even three o'clock yet, 3 p.m. SoCal time on um, today's Saturday. So, um, I'm burning some sage and some Palo Santo for all of us. There you go. Probably need some of that shit too, right? And, uh, let's get into it. Well, let's see what's going on for Leos. Oh, I didn't shuffle these, did I? I did. Half-assly. Let me give it a couple more shuffles. Angel Spirit Guides. Ancestors. What can you tell us, Leos, for the month of March? Give some good news, please. <laughs> I don't know about y'all Leos, but this Leo here, moi, has had a hell of a year, so, not a year, but almost a year. The past 10 months have been, I don't want to say complete nightmare, but they've been pretty rough. So, um, just, I'm, I'm open to some good news. I'm open to some forward movement. I'm open to whatever you got for me. So, um, all right. <clears throat> it's way too many cards. All right, angel spirit guides and ancestors, what messages do you have for a beautiful Leo community? Beautiful Leos, what messages do you have for us in the month of March? Let me get some jumpers, please. Oh, that was a scare. Of course. You know, and I wouldn't say the problem, but one of our biggest assets and weakness is our hearts, right? We love hard. When we love, we love hard with every part of our being, like with every inch of our being and every aspect of the word we love so much and so hard, right? So that sometimes can get us into trouble or, I don't know, just when things fall apart, it's tenfold, right? So we have to remember to ground ourselves and to remember that there's more to life, right? And there's beauty all around us, no matter what. So, sometimes we just need to ground our energy. What is going on, Leos? Oh. Wow. Oh, geez. Okay, what else you got for us? Of course. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm very mindful of how I pick up cards. That's why I hesitated with the strength card because I was like, am I picking up the right way? <laughs> well, look at that. That's good news, right? Thank everybody. <laughs> and let's see. What do we have here? Eight of Swords, Four of Cups. Why is this here? Why do we have the Eight of Swords for us and the Four of Cups? I'm going to take these 
I'd like to only really take one clarifier, but sometimes I feel called to take the bunch of them, whatever falls, but you know, normally I like to stick to just one clarifier. Knight of Cups and the Moon, why are these here? Of course, always the burden, right? Always taking on more than what we can handle sometimes. Because our heart tells us to. <laughs> okay, well that's good news. Knight of Swords, with the Strength card. Yeah, I knew that was going to come out. So this is not... At least it's not really, well, we'll see if it relates to what I've been going through. I'm <clears throat> sorry, my voice is like, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. It's been happening a lot. Well, not a lot, but this happened with the Taurus video and now the Leo video. So I feel like there has to be some sort of communications between Leos and, and Tauruses. Um, gee Louise. Okay. Two major arcanas for the uh, overall energy. The star in reverse and the devil in reverse. So, there's something that you want to break free from. Obviously, it can be, you know, addictions, toxic relationships, toxic partnerships, um, codependencies. It's like you're almost there, but you're losing faith. You're losing faith, and it's like you're the hope is the hope is going, and um, you're kind of like discouraged a little bit about being able to break away and to break free of whatever pattern it is or whatever situation that you're in. You're losing faith. You you might be bound and stuck to something that you feel like you can't get out of, but really it's you yourself in your own way, pretty much because. The Eight of Swords is here, and that's us being stuck in our own way, being bound to these thoughts and these emotions and just being blinded to it because we're so focused on it, and it's like, the path is clear. She can totally walk through it, but she's not. She's stuck. She's stuck in the loop and the thoughts, driving her crazy, you know? And she's, she's you know, take, or she or he is taking some time out, um, reflecting, they know that they're unhappy with the way things are. And they're so stuck and bound and tied to these thoughts that they can't see what's right in front of them that's being divinely guided to them and handed to them. And um, I feel like it's in a situation where it's like either you want to be the empress, you want to embody the empress, um, or you want to like start something new because the Ace of Pentacles is here with a new opportunity. Perhaps an engagement, perhaps a new job, perhaps your dream job, your career, whatever, relationship. Um, it's like you're unhappy and you all you think about is becoming this empress, you know, somebody who's motherly, somebody who's, you know, one with nature, somebody who can just embody everything, take care of a household, um, be, uh, give birth to new ideas, give birth to a child, you know, if you can have children, um, just everything, you know, just new opportunities, new projects. It's like... You're stuck, and you're not allowing yourself to, to be in this, because this is here. It's like it's there. It's being handed to you, but you can't see it because you're stuck looking at those three other cups. And the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Wands and the Moon card. So... Maybe there was a love situation that didn't take off the ground. Maybe there was an opportunity that didn't take off the ground. And, um, but there's some secrets tied to it. There's some illusions tied to it and some deception, some deceit tied to that. Whatever that um, offer or whatever that energy is or was presented to you, it's like you're holding on to it. You're holding on to these secrets, to this burden, to these whatever happened with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're holding on to it. And, um, oh, you know what? I didn't, I wanted to play some music in the background. I thought I had it on. But it turned off. Anyway, um, you're holding on to it. You're dragging it around everywhere. It's like weighing heavy on your heart. And I feel maybe 
in a way, it kind of hardened you. It kind of changed your mood. You know, maybe you're becoming the Knight of Cups because of this situation. You know, because you feel bound and tied and can't get out of it. And all you want is this new beginning. That's all you want. You want this success. You want to become this badass empress and run your damn empire. You know, run your own freaking amazing empire. And, um... Whatever you're hiding, whatever you're keeping secret, it's like you it's like you're just holding on to it for whatever reason. I have no idea. But it could be tied to a love situation. Um let's see what else. Page of Cups in the reverse again with this cup energy. I mean it could be with a water sign. Could be dealing with a water sign here. I mean it doesn't have to be, but you could be. I mean, I, I think I I see all the signs here. Yeah, I see all the signs. So it could be with anybody, but Page of Cups in reverse, something that, you know, with the Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So whatever didn't take off the ground, whatever opportunity that didn't come through, um, it was almost like it was karma. It's like a karmic cycle. Maybe it was with a karmic partner. Or maybe it was with a job that didn't go through, you know? Maybe it was, like, all part of karma for whatever reason, you know? We all have to learn lessons in life. Yeah, it sucks balls, but, I mean, we got we have lessons to learn. It's something that we signed up for before we got here, you know? But either way, it's like you're moving from these choppy shores to calmer waters here. And, um, you know, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, with the Strength card and the Six of Wands, it's like... Whoever you're dealing with, this person just made you feel like shit. This person made you feel like you fell off your horse, like a fall from grace. It's like you were high, you had a high up moment. You were high up on your horse. You felt good, you know, you felt celebrated. Like this was amazing, finally. And then they just kind of like did a 180 on you. 180? 360? Whatever. <laughs> they turned, you know, they, they showed a different side of themselves because you fell off your horse, you know, you're like, holy shit, and you had to be strong about it, you had to have strength, you had to have strength, and you had to persevere, and just be brave about the situation, because you just fell from grace, but you didn't want to be stuck in that, and we're lions, come on, we showed up in our own damn reading, we're strong, right, I mean, our hearts, yes, can be weak sometimes, but nothing stops us, we always, we always charge for what we want, baby, it's like those memes, like, I'm coming for everything they said I couldn't have. Always. Always. We always charge for what we want, right? And um, sometimes that gets us into trouble because it might not be for our good. You know, we might not be able to see it because it's like we feel so much with our hearts, we forget to think. We think with our hearts and we forget to think with our brains, with our logic, you know? And, um, you know, it's just we always lead with our hearts. We we let the hearts lead the way, but we have to be strong, definitely strong. Um, and with this Queen of Swords energy, maybe we're turning into these Queen of Swords. You know, maybe we have to be cold. Maybe we have to be swift. Maybe we have to use our sword of truth and just be like, nah, this shit ain't happening anymore. Like I'm breaking free. I'm getting out. I'm getting the F out of here. This doesn't serve me. This is not good for me. This shit's toxic. You know, like, I'm I'm tired of these thoughts. So it's like all these eight swords turned into one. And you might have some air in your chart. Or you just might be embodying this. Or maybe somebody did this to you. Maybe somebody cut you out of their life. Maybe it caused an unhappy family situation. You know, maybe it was a home wrecking situation. Maybe it was just something messed up. You know, something died get the death card on top of those two something died or something transformed something changed but it's for the better because and and it's going to take time it's going to take work to get better at it or whatever it is or to get over and to heal it's going to take time it's going to take work teamwork um you're going to have to you know build back your foundation up again you're going to have to put the pieces back together but what i see for march for leos is um finality of whatever you'll be dealing with, whatever you've been running back and forth in your head, whatever messages you were waiting for, 
whatever clarity that you needed, you know, like all that stuff. I feel like March is going to be a pivotal moment for you. And maybe for me, I don't know. But um, let me see if I can get this music back on just a little so we can get some angel cards. Um, it's probably going to be loud. Oh, yeah, I'll turn it down. I know a lot of you are probably like, bitch, fix that shit before you start the video. <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, I'm just here to read. Like, if that bothers you, then maybe I'm not the reader for you. But honestly, I keep it real. I keep it truthful. This is who I am. If I want to fidget with some shit, I'll fidget with some shit. But um, I, I, I'm folk like, I just really want to focus here. But today, for the energy, I want to give us some background music to help us feel better. You know, some, some meditation. Maybe I'll leave it on so we can have a little bit of Reiki, you know, at the end. But... I definitely feel like we need it. <laughs> definitely. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I missed anything or if there's more messages that I need to tell you. We're at 16 minutes and we're doing pretty good. Not too long, right? I'll lower it some more. Okay. Yeah, so I just feel like um, whatever this, whoever these pages and knights that you're dealing with, it's just not the right time. You know, it's just immature, it's moodiness, it's just they're blocking your creativity. They're just, you know, they, you don't know who they are from one day to the next because of their moodiness and their jealousies and just their emotional instability. Um, so I think you're doing the right thing by moving forward to calmer waters, you know. And plus it's karma. If it's not your karma, it's their karma. It's karmic. Will of fortune's in reverse, you know. Um, it's not, maybe not something that you wish for that what you wanted, but it had to happen. It's part of the plan, you know. Obviously there's free will, but I just feel like with the major arcanas being there in the overall reading that something's bound to happen. You're going to break free from something that you're losing hope on. Say goodbye to her, right? No more of this energy. I'm gonna break free from that and we're gonna turn into her, right? That's that's the Empress, the Empire, you know, the nurturer, nature loving, beautiful queen. So I feel like March is gonna be really good. It's gonna be a pivotal moment. I feel like you're gonna get gain the truth, clarity, and and completions that you've been searching for and been wanting. So that's good. I mean I, I hope so from for my sake too so let's go back into the angel cards oh outdoors <laughs> go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas that's funny um taurus got this card too taurians what else What else you got for us archangels yeah I'm definitely um, something going on with the throat chakra again like I said same thing with the Taurus video <sighs> somebody needs to say something it's it's too much like I'm I'm feeling this energy that's just like too much you guys enough is enough like either say something or I don't know Take back your power. <laughs> Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Be her. Take back the power. Don't be her. I know it's easier said than done. And you will. Holy jamoli. Look what's behind the devil. Look what's behind the lovers in reverse. Look what's behind the tower. Look what's behind the two of cups. And look what's behind the three of swords. I mean, look what... See? Okay, I'm going to do this for y'all because I feel like I have to. Clarity. What did I say? Clarity, right? It's coming. Now, let me go backwards. 
rewind. Ace of Swords, the mental clarity, the raw power. This card didn't even come out, and I knew this was going to be good for March. So it's it's just validating that, yes, we will get our clarity. Finally, thank God. Over maybe a breakup or a lover situation, a love, a partnership situation. Um, it's something that broke our hearts, big-ass hearts that we have. Maybe it was a three-party situation. Oh, with an earth sign, possibly a Taurus. What did I say? Earth sign, king of pentacles. Lack of focus, not not being able to work or see the bigger picture here and just be this person. Um, inevitable changes are happening. Things that we knew would happen, but we're delaying it and dragging our ass on it, right? Over again, the lovers and the upright. So... Maybe we're moving on from a love situation that we had to because we knew it wasn't for the greater good. And it's going to end up in heartbreak. Maybe we're moving on from a job or a partnership that we knew wasn't for us and wasn't right for us. Either way, we're taking our freaking power back. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Be the magician. Be that amazing manifester that you know you can be. Okay? You can do whatever you set your mind and your heart and your desire to. Use your fire. You are a fire sign. Use that fire. Use that flame to burn a fire up your ass and do whatever you need to do. Okay? And uh, let's get one more crystal angels. Well, that's a lot, but we're taking it. Ceremonies and celebrations, it's time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries. Yeah, okay, so March, yeah, spring, we know that. Whatever. <laughs> Make time for self care always. Taking care of yourself is essential right now, okay? Right now, at this time, mind, body, and soul, you gotta take care of yourself. Aqua Aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions, and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. What did I say about the throat chakra? Talk, it's 222, 225, 226. Um, I've been seeing that everywhere. You probably see it in my last videos. Anyway, um, heart to heart conversation. So especially with the um, 222 citing while I'm reading this, that's an indication to me that yes, somebody, some of you need to talk to somebody. Say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you like that song. Say something. Whatever it is, just say it. Stop holding it in. Stop carrying the ten of wands. Stop holding the burden. Say something. Love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Maybe that's who you need to talk to. I don't know. Either way, I love you guys. Um, maybe I'll do a love bonus soon. Um, you guys are my fam. You are my sister, brother, sign. Leo sun. I'm a Leo sun here. So, and this might resonate with your moon or rising if that's what you are. Um, but either way, March is going to be badass. So keep your heads up. I love you and have a wonderful day.